that the total number that has tested positive at this point is uh, 1,505, uh, and that, that indicates 43 new cases that have been recorded today. Uh, it's important to um, raise the fact that uh, <clears throat> uh, this number is affected by the point that I was raising about the limitations of the reactive testing that we are doing. And, and when we extend the testing, which is proactive, we actually expect these numbers to increase a bit more than what we are seeing here today. In terms of our projections, <coughs> uh, th there is a, f a feeling that whatever number we are seeing now would actually change as soon as we are able to go out into the community to test more people. We also want to report, uh, sadly, uh, two more deaths uh, from uh, Guazulu Natal, which um, one is an eight-year-old male, the other one is an 81-year-old female uh, in Guazulu Natal. So uh, from that point of view, uh, we want to uh, indicate that uh, we are <coughs> concerned that this number is slowly increasing, uh, and so uh, we, we hadn't reported those two, two more deaths. Uh, you got 50,000 tests, you got 1,500 people who are positive. Is it worth the effort? And actually the issue, the truth is it is. It is worth the effort, even if we test several millions of people and found only a couple of hundreds of, uh, of uh, a couple of thousands of people. The reason why it's worth it is because the devastation of a COVID-19, which is unmanaged and uncontrolled and undetected and undiagnosed, is actually far worse than the cost of testing the many people. So you must know, we will need many more people to be tested and it is worthwhile even if we found most of them negative because we've got a clear picture of where the problem is. And out of all of this, we want to say it doesn't matter how much money we're going to spend in fighting COVID-19. We've seen the devastation in other countries and that amount of devastation, we don't wish it to our own country. And therefore the cost that's associated is worth the while.